Christian Leaders Institute, Old Testament Bible Verse Video by Aaron Noble, Genesis 1-1, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth, Exodus 34-10, and he said, Behold, I make a covenant. Before all your people I will do marvels such as have not been done in all the earth, nor in any nation, and all the people among whom you are shall see the work of the Lord. For it is an awesome thing that I will do with you. Leviticus 19.18 Stop being angry and don't try to take revenge. I am the Lord and I command you to love others as much as you love yourself. Numbers 624. May the Lord bless you and protect you. Deuteronomy 9.1. Listen, Israel. Today you will cross the Jordan River to enter and take possession of nations larger and more powerful than you, along with huge cities with fortifications that reach to the sky. Joshua 1.5 No one will be able to defeat you all your life. Just as I was with Moses, so I will be with you. I will not leave you or forsake you. Judges 6.12 When the angel of the Lord appeared to Gideon, he said, The Lord is with you, mighty warrior. Ruth 3.11 Now, my daughter, do not be afraid. I will do for you whatever you ask, for all my people in the city know that you are a good woman. 1 Samuel 17, 47 And everyone assembled here will know that the Lord rescues his people, but not with sword and spear. This is the Lord's battle, and he will give you to us. 2 Samuel seven twenty two, Lord God, this is why you are so great. There is no one like you. There is no God except you. We know that because of what we ourselves have heard about what you did. 1 Kings 18.21 Elijah approached the people and said, How long will you not decide between two choices? If the Lord is the true God, follow him. But if Baal is the true God, follow him. But the people said nothing. 2 Kings 6.16 Don't be afraid, Elisha told him, for there are more on our side than on theirs. 1 Chronicles 16.11 Depend on the Lord for strength and always go to him for help. 2 Chronicles 15.2 Azariah went out to meet Asa and said to him, Listen to me, Asa, and all Judah and Benjamin. The Lord is with you when you are with him. If you look for him, he will let you find him. But if you leave him, he will leave you. Ezra 7, 28. The Lord has shown me, Ezra, his love in the presence of the king, those who advise the king, and the royal officers. Because the Lord my God was helping me, I had courage, and I gathered the leaders of Israel to return with me. Nehemiah 1, 11. O Lord, please hear my prayer. Listen to the prayers of those of us who delight in honoring you. Please grant me success today by making the king favorable to me. Put it into his heart to be kind to me. In those days, I was the king's cupbearer. Esther 4.14 If you keep quiet now, help and freedom for the Jews will come from another place. But you and your father's family will all die. And who knows, maybe you have been chosen to be the queen for such a time as this. Job 120. Then Job arose, tore his robe, and shaved his head. And he fell to the ground and worshipped. And he said, Naked I came from my mother's womb, and naked I shall return there. The Lord gave, and the Lord has taken away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Psalm 34:17. The righteous cry, 
and the Lord hears and delivers them out of all their troubles. Proverbs 31.8 Speak up for people who cannot speak for themselves. Help people who are in trouble. Ecclesiastes 5.18 I have seen what is best for a person to do here on earth. He should eat and drink and enjoy his work. This is because the life God has given him on earth is short. Song of Solomon 6.3 I belong to my love and he belongs to me. He's eating among the lilies. Isaiah 6.8 Then I heard the voice of the Lord asking, Who should I send? Who will go for us? I said, Here I am. Send me. Jeremiah 1.9 Then the Lord put forth his hand and touched my mouth. And the Lord said unto me, Behold, I have put my words in thy mouth. Lamentations 3.23 His great love is new every morning. Lord, how faithful you are. Ezekiel 36.26 I will give you a new heart and put a new spirit within you. I will remove your heart of stone and give you a heart of flesh. Daniel 6.11 Then these men assembled and found Daniel praying and making supplication before his God. Hosea 14.9 Let those who are wise understand these things. Let those with discernment listen carefully. The paths of the Lord are true and right, and righteous people live by walking in them. But in those paths, sinners stumble and fall. Joel 2.32 And everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. For on Mount Zion and in Jerusalem there will be deliverance. As the Lord has said, even among the survivors whom the Lord calls. Amos 5.4 This is what the Lord says to Israel. Seek me and live. Obadiah 1.15 The day is coming when I, the Lord, will judge the nations and Edom, you will pay in full for what you have done. Jonah 2, 2. When I was in danger, I called to the Lord, and he answered me. I was about to die, so I cried to you, and you heard my voice. Micah 6, 8. The Lord has told you what is good. He has told you what he wants from you. Do what is right to other people. Love being kind to others, and live humbly trusting your God. Nahum 1.7 The Lord is good. He is a safe place to go to in times of trouble. He takes care of those who trust him. Habakkuk 3.19 The Lord God is my strength. He makes me like a deer that does not stumble so I can walk on the steep mountains. Zephaniah 3.17 The Lord your God is in your midst, a warrior bringing victory. He will create calm with his love. He will rejoice over you with singing. Haggai 2.5 When you came out of Egypt, I promised that I would always be with you. I am still with you, so do not be afraid. Zechariah 4, 6. So the angel explained that it was the following message of the Lord to Zerubbabel. I am the Lord all-powerful, so don't depend on your own power or strength, but on my spirit. Malachi 4, 3. And ye shall tread down the wicked, for they shall be ashes under the soles of your feet, in the day that I shall do this, saith the Lord of hosts. Christian Leaders Institute